all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy codename agent who oh it's danger god damn it and check me out man it's gonna be another dangerous one so strap in and let's get to it man so the five-year anniversary celebration event for marvel future fight has been announced and it has me feeling some type of way i'm feeling good i'm feeling bad so i wanted to give you all my two cents and a nickel on top but more importantly man all of you guys each and every single one of you guys get down there in the comment section and let me know how you are personally feeling not how i'm feeling right and how i possibly will influence you to feel but just generally like seriously when you saw this thing how were you feeling were you very excited for it or were you skeptical because i'm a bit of both what am i talking about let's jump on the forum right here pull this thing up and let's get to it five year anniversary countdown check-in event basically the best things about marvel future fight right now are the amount of characters you can collect how like many looks each characters have and the check-in event like you literally get more rewards and better rewards for logging in the game which only takes you like five seconds to load up the page right than actually playing consecutively crazy right <laughs> anyways so we have a message here from CM Fragment as always. And then we have this splash page right here. Fifth year anniversary. Let's celebrate Marvel Future Fight's fifth birthday together. Crazy how long this game's been out. And it was going really good until like year four. And then after that, it's been on a downward spiral ever since. Some of you guys are going to say I'm salty, but hey, I'm just telling my truth. Listen, everything I say on this channel is my truth. I'm not saying you have to agree with me. I don't care if you agree with me. I speak how I feel and I encourage you to do the same. So let's take a look at all the rewards that we're going to be getting for playing this game like four, five, six, seven, eight hours a day for five years, shall we? So we get energy, a hundred black antimatter, we get a hundred crystals, some boost points, but more importantly, we get a six star character selector on day 21. This is very good. This is going to help out a lot of new players coming in for the fifth year anniversary. This is not going to help out too many people who've been playing the game for a long time, especially when it comes to these six star selectors, because in case you're new to Marvel Future Fight, to get a character from one star to six star, it takes you over 600 biometrics. However, these things, if you already own the character, right, you only get about 40% of what it takes to get a character to six star. So instead of getting over 600, you get <sighs> under 300 crazy ain't it you get like 256 which is like seriously not good value i don't think you should ever get shafted and it's something that's always bothered me but i've never spoken up about it ever really like it's always like been in the back of my mind but why should you be punished why should you get less than because you already have the character built you should get the same 600 that you would have to spend on the character to get them from one star to six star if you didn't have them right this doesn't make sense it is definitely more useful to have bios because you can feed them into a, a plethora of different characters but nonetheless you should get treated the same way as everyone else right regardless of how long you've been playing the game and whether or not you chose to work on that character or not anyways not my point the other rewards here okay the crystal is nice everything else i'll just skip over we get another six star selector and that's good but again if you have most or all of the characters built in the game <sighs> not gonna do too much for you 256 there moving on we get some more crystals 100 crystals like you would think for the fifth year anniversary they'll give out like 500 apiece but hey i dare to dream right but then again they do give out check-in crystals but again it's always 100 never more just crazy right again another 100 here and then this is where it gets interesting this is where I see a lot of people getting very, very, very excited. But I'm also very concerned about what this means. So right here, D-Day, it says you get a tier three selector. Seems pretty insane, right? Seems insane to me. This is not something I thought I would see right now. Never. 
in my million years that I think for the fifth year anniversary, they would be giving out a tier three selector. But this may be a ploy. So some of you guys need to be careful. I've always seen people asking for a tier three selector because they thought it was going to be an easy come up, an easy way for them to get a character from like level 60 all the way to tier three. That doesn't work in future fight. And I said it when I seen the potential enhancement tickets. The fact is if they're bringing in a tier three selector now, it means that they plan at some point to sell something like this in the shop. And if it was costing you over $200 to get a character's potential from 60 to 70, how much is it going to cost you to get a character from tier 2 to tier 3, assuming this thing allows you to bypass the whole potential system? Imagine if this thing is crazy enough, because they don't list it here. Imagine if this thing is crazy enough to just allow you to pick up a character from not even owning them to having them a tier 3. That's insane value. Gold, black antimatter, biometrics, right? Titan component packs, essence of dimension, CCF. So many resources you are saved, like seriously, from spending with an item like this. So it makes me very scared that this is coming to the game right now because that means they plan at some point to sell it, right? Which means if you're free to play, a lot of you guys get very upset when a new tier 3 comes out and somebody has it in timeline in the first like day because they get really lucky on the potential. Shit, this is going to make it so they get it in the first hour because there's always going to be that one guy that can flex his credit card muscles. You feel me? So, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. However, it does have restrictions because, of course, they're giving it out for free. They're not going to allow you to pick the best characters ever with this, right? So just like with the 6-star selector you're kind of getting shafted if you played the game or invested any money into the game. So, <sighs> with the six-star selector, you cannot use it on premium characters that you pick up from the monthly subscription. Now, honestly, this is bullshit, okay? Because let's be real, where we are in Marvel Future Fight right now, giving out three premium six-star characters is nothing, bro. Like, what are you going to do with them? A Shadowland Clear and that's it. You can't use them in Timeline. You can't use them in World Boss Ultimate. Where else are you going to use them? ABX? That's not going to happen. Bro, what is a six-star Carnage doing in 2020, going into 2021? Nothing, bro. Literally, the only character that you could pick up at Tier 1, Level 60 from this thing is actually like Weapon X that could make a long-term impact without you bringing them up to tier two. So I don't know why they're limiting this to just characters. Like I'm talking about the six star selector, right? I don't know why they're limiting this thing to just characters that you can get from Shadowland. It just doesn't make sense to me. Now, if the next update comes in and all the characters are free to play, then boom, you get an easy way to get all of the new characters to six stars. However, I don't like this. Obviously it's gonna exclude tier two native, epic quest characters, um, heroic quest characters and for some reason special mission characters even though special missions are no longer in the game and i don't know why you would spend it on them because you can get them from the dimension missions right additionally you cannot use it on x gene characters not even the one from the monthly subscription i'm talking kid omega x23 not nightcrawler okay r.i.p kurt like honestly why even give out an item like this when you put literally like a hundred freaking restrictions on it so that the characters that you could get for free from Shadowland are the only ones you can get here. It's like basically just saying, here guys, here's a GIF. But wait, it's not really that useful. You feel me? Like it's a, like honestly, man, it, it's, it's a real slap in the face. Additionally, the tier three selector, it allows you to choose one of these characters, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, Winter Soldier, Black Panther, Ant-Man, Captain America, Sharon Rogers, and Cyclops. That's it. So if you're one of the people who loved all of these characters and you tier three them already, you get shafted. No Vaseline, bro. Yeah, that's just that graphic. You get the shaft, bro, the full thing. Why? Because 
you don't get to choose a free tier three character to celebrate the fifth year anniversary with everybody else. No, 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 sir. You get a little bit of X genes and a little bit of bios. Not even tier three mats that people will be saving. Meaning, if you're one of the people that said, yo, Black Panther is garbage. Never tier three in Black Panther. Ant-Man is garbage. Not tier three him. Spider-Man, Thor, Iron Man. You know what I'm saying? If you're one of the people that didn't tier three them, now you can tier three them for free. Save yourself CCF and everything else. But if you're one of the people who spend a lot of time grinding the game or a lot of money supporting the game and you already have these characters at tier three, you just get a couple bios and that's it for you. That makes no sense. Now, I know right away some of you guys in the free-to-play community are going to blindly say, good. It's good that those of you guys who are whales and spend a lot of money on this game are going to get shafted and only get some biometrics and not get at least half of that tier 3 match that other people are getting to save the full cost on. And if that's how you think, you're absolutely stupid. Because if every single person that comes to Marvel Future Fight never spent a dime on the game, and this goes for every mobile game, if everybody takes the free-to-play approach from now until forever, the game shuts down in like 12 months, max. Because let's be real, I'm an adult, bro. I go to work. You think if my boss tells me I'm not getting a check at the end of my two-week cycle, I'm coming back, bro? The hell you mean? That's a lawsuit. I, no. So these people behind the game, they have families to feed, right? This is a job to them. So... They have to get paid, right? So for me and other people who spend a lot of money on the game, we realize that and we want to fund the game. And because we fund the game, it allows people to come in and play the game for free because they don't have the means to do so. So I always find it like really stupid when I see people who are free to play bashing people for spending money on the game. Because essentially the people who are spending money on the game are allowing you to play the game for free via their investment. You feel me? I'm not saying anybody is better than anybody, but I'm just saying, like, there's no reason to attack people and say people should get shafted because they spend money on the game. Everybody should get treated fairly. Meaning, this thing right here, yeah, cool, it can have a limit. But what if you already have all of these characters at tier three? Shouldn't you at least get 40% of the mass that you're going to save, meaning 40% of the gold? Like, average it out, however much gold is going to take you from wherever. Like, this thing is busted. Like, if it's actually taking you from not owning the character to Tier 3, that's really busted. This is super good for um, new players. And obviously, you should go for somebody like Sharon Rogers, Captain America in Hydra uniform. Iron Man is good. Cyclops is good, right? In terms of the hardest character to farm here, it would be Cyclops because you can only get a couple X genes for him per day. But honestly, overall value, I would say Sharon Rogers and Captain America, top tier. Captain Marvel too, but yeah, I would say Sharon Rogers is going to give you the most bang for your buck. Super easy to play her, right? Same goes for Cap too. But basically, my only gripe with this is if you already have all the tier threes in the game, you're going to get shafted unless, right? Unless they give you a ton of biometrics and X genes. And I'm talking at least five, six thousand, right? If they give you that, then I would be okay with this because that's a lot of buys. That's a lot of level 70s. But man, to feel as though you're going to get like, what, 256? Because the highest amount of biometrics you can possibly get right now from a six-star selector is what, 256, which is less than half. It's about 45, 40% of a six-star character. If they give you that on a tier three selector, while other people can choose a tier three character that saves 800 CCF, like literally, this is like a $100 value, right? And if I get, or everybody else who have all these characters, right, at tier three, get, I don't know, maybe a, a five or ten dollar value, while everybody else is getting over a hundred dollars because of the, how useful this thing is, that feels really, really bad. And fair is fair and right is right. And that's why when I see people saying I'm always complaining, like, honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not something is hurting the free to play community or it's hurting people who spend money on the game. I'm going to speak up about it. Free, paid, doesn't matter. Fair is fair. I'm for justice, no matter who is for or against. And that's why when the Mandalay Gem thing came in, I was against it. I'm still against it. And that's why I'm free to play. Because it's creating a larger gap between the people who don't have the money to spend and the people who have the money to spend. And even though I could buy every single Mandalay Gem crystal pack in the store and get Mystique to gear 25 and fully awaken her skill. I'm not going to do it because it's not fair, 
right? It's not a, like, no, bro, it's not a fair system. So I cannot support it. The only thing I can say about this, let me, let me go back in here, is if they actually continue with what they were probably going to do before, which was the Black Widow update, and they make it so you can use this thing on Black Widow, essentially giving everybody a free tier three Black Widow, I would be okay with that. But man, if you just get 256 pilots from a tier three selector, what well, everybody gets a tier three, I'm going to be big, man. I'm just saying. And if you're in that situation too, you should be mad. Some of you guys, you only care about yourself. You don't care about anybody else in the community. So you're going to be like, hey, man, I got a free tier two. Fuck everybody else, right? You know what I'm saying? If that's how you feel, cool. But just understand that at some point, there will be something in the game that affects you. And you want other people to be on your side as well. You know what I'm saying? We can't just have this, oh, I'm only out for me. Like, and if it doesn't affect me, it doesn't matter. No. You know what I'm saying? We're all in this together. You know what I'm saying? I, I might be here talking on a YouTube video, but I'm no different than the rest of you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm you. Like, seriously. Like, what? Anyways, man, let me know how you guys are feeling about this thing. I've ranted long enough. I just wanted to share my thoughts on this. I'm scared for what this means. Like, the tier 3 selector. Like, honestly, getting shafted by this, like, and getting a couple buys while people get in tier 3. I'm okay, bro. I have every tier 3 in the game with the exception of Scarlet Witch. You know what I'm saying? And if I really want to, I can go in the store right now and just buy everything I need to to get Scarlet Witch to tier 3. I'm just not doing it right now. Right, because I don't like the direction the game is going. So I'm not even too mad about that. But what I am concerned about is whenever we see them bring new items in the game, bro, it's only a matter of time before they start selling it in the store for a shit ton of money. Right. So, yeah. And again, even though I can afford these packages, it doesn't mean I want them to be in the game because they're creating a larger imbalance between the people who don't have the money to spend and the people who do. And again, I don't want to ever feel like the only reason why I'm able to stomp somebody out in PvP, which we barely have PvP, right? Is because I spent more money than them. No, that's why I like KOF. That's why I like freaking Seven Deadly Sins, Grand Crows, you know, because even when somebody has more money invested, I can easily stomp their face by outsmarting them and making better decisions, right? And that's, man, that's something we need to see more of in future fight. Anyways, long story short, man, let me know how you guys are feeling anniversary update coming in it's gonna be interesting to see what else they do besides give out check-in rewards because again if that's all man hey free to play beast mode is here to stay baby i'm gone peace